All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to solve absolute value equations. <clears throat> so first, I'd like to do a little bit of unpacking of what an absolute value uh, symbol even means. And so absolute value is these little bars that look like this, look like almost ones or something that kind of box it in. Um, and so what they're saying is this is saying a distance, okay? So absolute value just really means a distance. So I want us thinking of it that way. So if I'm thinking of this as some distance, what the absolute value symbol is saying is that this value has a distance of five away from zero. And here's where we gotta be careful about that. That means if here's zero, this has a distance of five away from zero, but also this, a negative five, also has a distance of five away from zero, okay? That's five units away, and that's five units away. So how I would actually solve this equation is I'd kind of have to do it in two separate parts. I'd say, okay, we know that 2x minus 1 is 5, but also in order for this to be a distance of 5 away from 0, we have that 2x minus 1 could equal negative 5. And so I have two many problems to solve. Here, I'm just going to solve them both separately, so I'm going to add 1 to each side. And then I'm going to divide by 2 on each side, and we get that x equals 3. Over here on the right, I'm going to add 1 to each side. And I'm going to divide by 2 on each side and get that x equals negative 2. So these are both solutions to our absolute value equation. I would substitute them both in and make sure that they work. Um, and in fact, I think we should probably do that. So let me, let me come over here. Let's substitute our answer. So if I have... 2x minus 1 equals 5, the way I'd simplify that is 6 minus 1 equals 5. And that's good. That, that works. Okay? But now let's back it up and let's try the same thing with our other solution because it's a little bit tricky. If we substitute in our negative 2 to see if it works, we do 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5, and you might be saying, okay, but negative 5 isn't equal to 5. But remember, the absolute value is a distance. So if you ever have a negative value inside the absolute value uh, symbols, we're considering it like a distance, and we always measure a distance positively. So that was just saying, that'd be turning that negative 5 with the absolute value symbols into a positive 5, saying this is a distance of 5. So since that's also a true statement, we know that both of our solutions work. Let's do a couple of practice problems. On this first one, I kind of kick, kick it up a notch really early. And so if we're to apply the same principle here to solve this equation as we did last time, we'd, do, we'd say, okay, well, x minus 2 equals 3x plus 1. This has a distance of 3x plus 1 away from 0. But we also know that x minus 2... Actually, I don't really need the symbols now. I can erase those. But we also know that x minus 2 could be here. Just in the last problem, I think we had like a 5 and a negative 5. Here we have a 3x plus 1 and a negative 3x plus 1. And so these are my two equations that we're going to solve. So let's just kind of roll through them real quick. Um, I'm going to subtract 3x from each side. I guess I can keep my same color scheme. I'm going to then add 2 to each side. And then I'm going to divide by negative 2 on each side. Okay, so there's one solution. And now I'm going to solve my equation on the right. So I'm going to start by distributing the negative. Then I'm going to add 3x to each side. And then I'm going to add 2 to each side. Lastly, I'm going to divide by 4. So that's one of my solutions. That's another solution. I'd encourage you to take both of those and substitute them in and make sure they work. Um, but for the sake of time on this video, I'm not going to do that. Let's look at one last example. So here, this one's a little bit tricky. Uh, and this adds a small step in that first, we need to isolate our absolute value symbols. So think about this whole thing within the symbols almost like it's a variable, like it's a big X that we're trying to solve for. 
So if that said 2x plus 4 equals 6, what we'd do is we'd start off by subtracting 4 from each side. And then we're going to divide by 2 on each side. Remember, our first little sub-goal is to isolate that absolute value. Now that we're here, we're ready to kind of uh, do the algorithm that we learned on the first slide. And that's that if our distance from 0 is 1, that means 6x minus, six minus 3 could be 1, or it means that 6x minus 3 could be at negative 1. And then let's solve both of these. So I'm going to add 3 to each side, and I'm going to divide by 6 on each side. Oh, I guess I could simplify. Over here, I'm going to add 3 to each side, and I'm going to divide by 6 on each side. So we have two solutions. We have x equals 2 thirds and 1 third.